Right, let's talk dog body language because so many dog owners are not recognising it at all. And because it's amounting to nothing, they're thinking it is nothing. It's only amounting to nothing because the dogs they're passing are not responding. I'll explain it best I can. When it's probably easy for people to relate to if I use a cat as an example. So, for example, cats when they're stalking prey, they lower the body, they lower the head, the head's in line with the body, they're stalking, they're low to the ground, they're fixated. It's no different when a dog does that, whether it to be an animal or to another dog or a person. Once your dog locks its, its eyes and puts its head in line with its body, so it lowers its head to the same height as its body, its head is no longer carried high and then it will lower its whole body. That is stalk. That in a dog is interpreted by the other dog as play or prey. Now the interpretation becomes whatever that other dog perceives it as, blue heel. So if the other dog perceives it as a threat, heel, I'm just going a little bit wider around the pony. If the other dog perceives it as a threat, then without doubt, it will kick off. If the other dog doesn't see it as a threat, and is a friendly other dog, then nothing will come of it, it will go into play. And it will be roughhouse playing out. And it will be this kind of play that is typical of dogs that go to dog daycare. I had it this morning and I had it last week. Both big dogs, both dogs really eyeballing my dogs. Now Blue is a very dominant dog. The only reason he didn't react and their dogs didn't react was because I refocused Blue onto me rather than let him continually staring. Staring is a challenge. It's a challenging behaviour in dogs and it's part of the prey. I never seem to have my GoPro on me when I see these uh, scenarios but I will start wearing it when I'm out with my dogs because that's when I see it a lot and people misinterpret that the crouching, the stalking. And also a lot of dogs, what they'll do, they'll lie down and the owners will say, oh, he just wants to play. He might do, but the dog is lying down, looking at, might see it as something totally different. And then a whole big fight is just kicked off right in front of your eyes because you don't understand dog body language. Do not let your dog stop and lie down. And if you see your dog, what he'll do on sight of another dog, He'll either speed up or more than likely he'll slow his, his pace down a little bit. He'll definitely change pace. He'll puff his chest out. Think of guys when they're being big smart asses. They puff their chest out, they yeah, 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 giving it all the big I am. Dogs do exactly the same. When they puff their chest out, that is when they are like, yep, yeah, bring it on. That is the behaviour you do not want. That is your behaviour that will lead to a fight one day.